player of his life today because this is not a PR player. Mm -mm. He's not. Weirdly enough. He, it's, it's bizarre, but he beat Donby today, who doesn't lose to people below him on the PR, let alone non pr players. So that's mm -hmm. a massive upset. Danby's number two? Yeah. Number yeah, number two. Like, just barely below Lima. That's world talent. And yeah, then, so it's it's crazy that he was able to beat him. Yeah, I mean, and they beat Trey Five immediately afterwards. Another great win. Another, another great PR win. caliber player. I don't believe he's on this PR, but he's the not. last one. I think it's more of an attendance thing, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, Trey Five is good. He's you, still PR level. That's the thing about DOW. A lot of people's problems is attendance whenever it comes to PR. That's, like, literally the defining factor. Um, yeah. But then some people decide to come out of the woodwork. Cosma. And, you could just say yeah. Cosma. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So the match begins. Um, we already know that he navigates this matchup extremely well because he went to game five with Yanni and almost won the last time I saw them play. Oh, my God. Yeah. Plus, that, one, that win on Trey Five is probably sitting really well in his mind. So the matchup is Fresh, yeah, so we know that he can it. do it. And this is why. This is like why we just we just, we just should not have learned anything and let Steve get banned. Let's but see, unfortunately yeah. for us, Ados is too good for that, and he decided to learn like a human being. Ooh, man. Oh wow! The aggressive crack shoot just couldn't get past the anvil and the two blocks. Yeah, that's a little too much material between you and the stage. Yep. Tragically. Well, let's, let's see if he can actually get some sort of thing on the ledge, because Terry's ledge pressure is insane. Oh, that dude, jab. yeah. There's like no end like on anything. So anything he hits your shield with, you just have to decide how to navigate around the next thing. Yep. You're not punishing it. And unfortunately, I <laughs> that was so close to being a good edge guard. You just need to get more blocks there to, in order to you know get that weird tech situation on the anvil. Yeah, but close. you know that Ados knows you're going for it, so then there's the pressure of putting down those blocks in time and inevitably. Let's see, waited after the up tilt, didn't get anything off the auto, just jumps away. I don't want anything to do with that up tilt. Dude, every time I see something go past the crafting table, I wonder why Rollout does it. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's like the one thing in the game that hits the crafting table. There's a lot of really weird moves that do cross ups whenever, you know, it doesn't look like it should. Yeah. Because <laughs> really that's don't. like a thing. But let's see. Ooh. Got him. That's oh, probably he's dead. A he's so dead. Yeah, definitely. Once that's... you get in that mine card and you're past like 100, like there's no way they're missing. Oh, that. yeah. Even the slow character like Steve just. Yeah. Right on <laughs> it literally just comes down to like whether or not they're in your face in time. Yep. So your mash better be like crazy. Let's see. Trying to get some sort of nair into set up. Like it it just feels like Yanni's avoiding so many of these setups. I mean he has the Rills experience, so you know it's That's it's, true. It's it's definitely a matchup that's pretty fresh in Yanni's brain as well. Dude, that that matchup's not gonna be fresh for long. That dude's never playing Terry again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, try to call out that minecart with with the uh, angle down, but is oh, that I, gonna my, be it? Oh my goodness! My great okay, DI. Not yeah, really good DI. Might have been SDI even. Let's go and eat. Footstool's right out of the situation. Let's Imagine see. that being an option. <laughs> I mean, Footstool can jump out of a lot of moves. The, the Gimmer Tech, bro. Yeah, the Gimmer Tech. Avoid the up smash entirely, but Steve's up smash, I don't know. Oh, man. Right, that's one stock. Great power dump to call out the anvil straight down. That's one of those moves that can just go right over it. This is like a possibility now because like he's still below 100. And if he gets to 100, like as he's taking the stock, then he'll have go for the comeback. Yep. But if Yanni does get the diamond, it's going to be a lot easier to kill him before 100. Yeah, exactly. The whole issue here. Ooh, oh. But right now, yeah, Yanni looks like he's just playing it safe because he's like getting the diamond ready just in case, which is the wisest choice you could possibly make against Dados. Yep, and aggressive crack shoot to get back on. That move just goes right over any ledge trap that Steve's trying to set up. Yep. All right, so go meter is in play, but it isn't really going to be looking to kill Steve anytime soon. Nope. Oh, no, and there's no that way. setup. No it's so dangerous. you got to get away. But the iron, the fact that he has no materials, Ooh. but gets back there anyways. Yeah. yeah, he got the raw material there. Like, if it was wood or soil, it would have, like, burst that shield like a bubble. Very odd interaction where having a more powerful block it actually ruins it. Yeah, yeah imagine. <laughs> he had time to get out of it there. Interesting. But, yeah, he had, like, zero materials. If anything, Ados was putting on the pressure towards the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about Terry, the comeback factor. You definitely feel the pressure of Terry later in the game yes. as it goes on because, you know, that 100% that go meter, it's super powerful. But Yanni kept it, he kept it, like, at his own pace the entire time, which is, like, the reason that he's a top player. Because yes. like, everybody else would be like, I just need to finish this Terry off. I need to get in there and get a diamond back air. And before you know it, you're reversal. And now you don't have a diamond for your third stock. And guess what? <laughs> it's over already. I know. It really just felt like Yanni couldn't get a whole lot of materials. He was just getting rushed down by autos just a little bit too much where he couldn't get consistent stuff. And a great combo Ooh, to start out. Yeah, that's a, like already a much better start. Yeah. This is exactly what Yanni did to Ados on the first stock. Let's see. And now using the flint and steel on that block on the side just to wait, stall. Wow. Even in the air, he can just convert that long? Yeah, and able to convert into a fresh 60 right back onto Yeah, him. like, off of an up tilt, like, you're like, okay, that's expected. It's Steve. But, like, Yanni going out of an up air, it's like he up tilted you in the air. It is the same animation, but, you know, you get the point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just the shield pressure, oh! great tech on that forward air. That was gorgeous. <gasps> Trying to go for the power dunk, but the block cancels. Yeah, that was that looked intentional. I think Eidos just knows this matchup. I mean, he beat Trey Five. We have to keep remembering that this is definitely a matchup that he knows. And Power Dump goes through the lava. Oh my goodness! These fist flames can't even quench these fists. <laughs> he literally said, "My fists are hotter." 
The Dude. Earth's Core cannot compete. Wow! Yeah, using the Power Geyser to ignite it, and once again, he just needs to like, scoot back a little bit. At this point, yeah, he's just playing it safe. Anything you do to Steve out there is going to be disadvantageous. So he says, I'll just wait. Yep, and now he's mind just... those things? I mean, whatever. And he's too high. Like, he's putting the blocks where the Power Geyser won't be able to hit that high. Yeah, this is where Ado specializes in, like, killing Steve's. Because whenever they're, like, doing that, um, what is it? The planking thing? Yep. Oh! Or they are just mining. He just like knows exactly the right moment to go in after waiting a while. Well, certainly. But they wouldn't expect it. I'm liking also that Otis is using that forward tilt to get rid of the block. Yep, down tilt into the, uh, was it power knuckle? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. Or burn knuckle, burn knuckle, burn knuckle, that's it. Yeah. You know, you put power and burn before anything and it's basically the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just punch move forward. Punch <laughs> move backward. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but this time it's going to be different. It's going to be a kick move forward. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. Not enough. Zero to 96, and I think he's definitely, oh, wow. Yep, the hitbox on the up B is able to just break through the blocks. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, diamond back air, not quite enough. Yep, and that's unfortunate because now he has go meter. Oh, but yeah, you can't take that. Not the anvil. Yep, plenty of materials too, so we didn't have that weird interaction. Yes, no more of that. Okay. Oh, I like the follow-up there. He honestly anticipated that Yanni wouldn't. Oh! Dude, he was literally all the way up there. Literally. <laughs> like, if this was a town, city. you died. But, like, if it wasn't down in city, you wouldn't be on that platform in the first place. Dude, that, that smash definitely would have killed there. Oh, definitely. Dude, that's the weirdest. Oh, my golly! Yeah. You know, we all know it. We all know to expect it, but we're not always ready for it, regardless. <laughs> and the thing is, there is also counterplay if you do tech. We've seen Onan. Just forward smash them Just afterwards. forward smash right over there. So, you know, you back throw, just run up forward smash. There's not a lot you can yeah. do. I actually saw Yanni do that before Onan. He probably did it first in the end, but, I, like, my first witness to it was from Yanni. And I'm like, he already has it unlocked. Interesting, unlock. yeah. You're it's, just ready for anything. It's a pretty great setup. Uh, you know, you have to be ready for it. And it's like, what is truly the counterplay to that? You have to wonder, because like even Yanni falls prey to it sometimes. To his own blocks? Yeah. Like, He's yeah. like, oh, damn. Uh, that is fast. <laughs> I know, right? It, it's very hard to react to. So yeah. you just have to preemptively tech in a lot of situations. I think that's just block awareness. Yeah. You know, you have to keep... It's like reading hero spells. It's you literally like, did I get... Like, you know the block is there to begin with, and you've been grabbed. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know to tech. Yeah, it, you have to pay attention to more than just Steve. Yeah. You know, it's one of those characters where it's like like the Hydron on Pac-Man, the, the Phantom on Zelda, mm -hmm. you know, those moves that kind of, or just things that sit there and you have to always keep it in the back of your mind. It's hard to be nailing these Terry power inputs while also keeping all of that in mind. I know. <laughs> it's a, it's definitely the, the skill factor. You know, how many things can you manage? That's that, uh, the, ter the determination of who is PR and who's not. Yes, most certainly. Good I mean, this will be a great win for, for Otto's if he can bring it back. But that's a big comeback. <laughs> most certainly. Now that you're also down 2 0, you're going to have to make a, you know, three, three game comeback. <laughs> it's hard. It's not just three stocks anymore. My goodness. Okay, Go Meter's in play. We could probably get a kill in certain specific parts of the stage right now, but he's definitely not going for that. Yep, that's, not, it, that's not Ados. It's probably going to take a few, but I mean, Yanni is. Dude, what is he doing? He's, he's out of, he's out of the team. iron. Yeah, I think he's like literally just moving it, using it as like a, a delay option in the air. I guess wow. So he it. Wow. He is ready. Yep. Yo, okay. He, he deserved that. I don't know what you were thinking. Yep. That, that was a solid three supers just straight into death. You know, but, he's yeah. even Ados, he doesn't have the audacity to do three of them in a row. Unfortunately, however. <laughs> Dude, he just ran over that. He's just like going. Up, taking the elevator to the top of this it's house. It's like you expect somebody to be navigating around the blocks and looking for an opportunity to make an advancement, but Ados is like, I'm already, that is the advancement. I'm yeah. going over to hit him. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just letting Steve just sit over there and make the house. I mean, put it, like, push the advantage if you can. And look at the way he navigates that anvil. Like, I know that my character has low mobility on the ground, but, like, that looks hard. Yeah. I mean, it, it goes down super fast, too, and Steve can do mix-ups <gasps> on top of it. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, guaranteed. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was an incredible. <laughs> he's using that side platform super well. Yeah. Yeah, the stage awareness and, like, character awareness. Ados is aware. His eyes are open. Let's see, but here come the wooden tools. This has the lowest SDI multiplier out of all of them. Yeah, understandably, it does the least amount of knockback, so it only makes sense. So you have to give it something. Let's see. Ooh. Yep, Yanni's just waiting in shield. There's no reason to try and hit the, like, out of shield Absolutely there. not. Like, if you think about Terry, you're not really thinking about when you're going to get grabbed, right? Mm -mm. You're thinking about when am I going to get, like, down tilted and then converted into 70%. Yep, great. You know, I'm really like how Otis is, you know, getting mid stage from these like uh, from these ledge options. You I have to get around it. He just hit about. Oh, oh my God. What okay. Call out. That was almost a perfect stock. Let's see, and that was a missed grab. Oh wow, he got out of it with a jump. Yep, and just good DI away too. You can get out of these power dumps. You can, yeah. SDI especially just ruins it. Oh, great parry into the up tilts. That's going to be damage, but good DI down out Ooh, of the corner. enough. Yeah, and even Adels was ready to react to the fact that he missed just one of those hits. Okay. That's just too aggressive. Yanni was ready for that one. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. Okay, and like that, it's back in Yanni's favor. Ooh, that oh, roll. golly. Oh, my God. What, the nil? Oh, but that's yeah, DI. He was so ready. 
Great crack shoot. Okay. This is pretty close now, and he has go meter. Yeah, Johnny did not count on him having it after that. Oh my goodness. Yep. Ados is making a comeback. Let's go. Yep, once he, he, he really wanted that forward smash to kill. And to be fair, I honestly expected it to as well. That mill was really good. No, that was super good. I think if he just had diamond, you know, or no, just literally. Maybe, little, maybe even a little bit more rage, or not on town and city. Not on town and city. There's a lot of factors that went into that that like do you really go into the lab and say, I better make sure that I can kill with the silver tool on this placement, on Town & City specifically, yes. with this much rage? Like, it's in one of those situations where you're like, I know I'm going to see a kill screen, but we'll see. <laughs> Either <laughs> way, go meter and yeah. the skill was there. On a different stage, that definitely would have killed. So great set to Autos, honestly, for just taking it back, using his character's comeback potential. Yep, you said the skill was there, and it's on both sides. Most certainly. All right, so this is a, a very good stage for Steve. Yeah, gets to all the best materials. It's really small, so back air kills super early. I think, and honestly, the fact that it's also kind of an FD pick as well, you have a lot of really like liberal block placements that you can do. There's True. not many many platforms to mess it up. Not a lot of limitations here. Oh, he's so good at that. God. Yeah. <laughs> Very unfortunate situation. I mean, having so many multi hits near the ledge there, you don't know when to tag. Yeah, that's, that was the Kirby Kid Slayer. Like, mm -hmm. Kirby Kid died to that. Tying out of it now. Like, a multi hit, if you try to buffer your tech in the multi hit before the last hit, it's just moot, it's, right? It's over. Yeah. It's over. Like, if you hit that shield button before it's over, then there's no tech at all. No possibility. Let's see. Got the jab, just waited for the uh, for the spot dodge. It'll okay. convert. He's doing good. Ooh, dude, he's right in front of you. <laughs> dude, yeah, that is so little end lag. It's like trying to swat like a fly out of your face. Oh, no, yeah, it's you're just like, like, he's so just, fast. You're right here, but I can't hit you. <laughs> Whoa, that tech was amazing. I mean, if you're going to be taken anywhere, that's the place. And he SDI'd up and into it. That was so well executed. Yep, that definitely should have been an up B. At this percent, that's going to be the one to go for. Mm -hmm. But I completely understand. Like, it's harder. Oof. 83. So pressure. He went from almost killing him to taking, like, 83. Like, and that was all from one SDI. Let's see. But, I mean, one jab. And oh, one quarterback tackle is going to be it. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we're almost at the go meter now. If he can lay on some damage before that's even a factor. That'd be ideal. Okay, but... Didn't get grabbed by the minecart, thank oh. goodness. But that back air? All right. Is that going to be it? Does he even have... He had a jump. All right, this is a very bad situation. Oh, he got through it! He's so good at just threading that needle. And he's doing it so well, going straight into the supers. It's like, I'm in now. I got to go for it. You fool, I'm in. It's like, there's just like a tiny, tiny window of opportunity in all of these situations, and Eidos just knows exactly where to go. See, very odd block play. Even that look, there was only one way out there, and he got it. I just can't believe he got, got around all the up smashes and stuff. Just an incredible air dodge back. He's just placing his character on screen is just his specialty. Like that's what I'm noticing about he does. He knows where, where to be. Oh wow, yeah. Got through a few hits, but it just didn't last long enough to get away from all of them. Yeah, Great the power wave. Not that good. He's just like, take my fire, bro. Get <laughs> out of here. I will punch the air if I need to. Yeah, that's a definite kill. The not last thing you expect far. to be grabbed by, you're like, he's going to kill me with an up, up throw? Really? <laughs> Ooh, oh, wow. dangerous. I get it. He thought he was oh. going to go past him, but now it's an even game all of a sudden. That down smash killed him. He's not expecting that. Right. His oh. smash attacks are actually just as lethal as his specials are. Dude, look at that damage. 60. Oh, oh, my God. Bro, bro, is that kill percent? <laughs> One Immediately, exchange. yeah. The snowball, bro. It's real. Like, Steve, you need the execution to get those sorts of conversions, but my god, are they conversions. Oh, yeah. I mean, both these characters have those conversions. Investing in Steve is investing in diamonds. You're just going to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. And these Florida backers are so threatening, bro. Like, you get hit by one of them, and that's it. Bro, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> I'm just surprised he didn't up smash out of shield there. <gasps> Great air What dodge. in the world? Oh, my god. I thought, like, an up, an up throw or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? A well fought, for sure, but... Yanni just, that last stock, it was impossible. Yeah, I like that he went for the ledge there. Or yeah. not the ledge, but the uh, <laughs> that weird backwards L shape. Yeah. Like, you know, imagine if he could grab onto the blocks kind of like a oh, ledge. Oh, God. I feel that, like that would ruin his whole game. I mean, it would definitely make it hard because, you know, people would have invincibility. Yeah. Like, grab onto it, so. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do people would do it on purpose, What's, like mid stage? Yeah. Like, do like, like get up, <laughs> dude, mixing up combos Whoa. with get up attacks. That'd be so strange. That would be kind of cool. It'd be like a like a, an inverse of like the execution it takes to play Steve. It also takes that execution to play against Steve. But I mean, now that's you're getting off something. Is. Yeah. Like that's that's a whole thing that the whole community is talking about right now. Is exactly. How to play against Steve. But it's just it's so much to ask, right? Like that's the reason he's up for debate in the first place. It's like we know that like the reason that Steve is dominating is because people invested in him, mm -hmm. like with a plenty of time and skill and effort and grit. Like Maybe. we know that Yanni didn't get good because Steve is easy. Mm -mm. But we want to be able to focus on Steve, but we can't. There's 70, 80 characters in this game. It's so hard to find time to learn the Steve matchup, and especially when oh, they're yeah. so hard to come by. Like you can, get, you can fight a Steve, but not the Steves. You need to like fight a Steve that's able to punish 
to the level of like 60% off like a grab, off an up tilt, stuff like that. You have to feel it. We all have that one contact. <laughs> we're like, that one guy that plays Steve that I hang out with sometimes, but it is sometimes. Every region kind of has a Steve now. I feel mm -hmm. like it's that character is becoming more progressively more played. So we're all going to learn it sooner or later. Um, Just I rob mean, all over again. It's like every region has a Rob, but yeah. DFW has five. Every region has a Steve, but we have, like, <laughs> it's I getting mean, ridiculous. When you look at it, like, our region has a bunch of Kha'Zias, a bunch yep. of Steves, uh, and a bunch of Robs. Yeah. I feel like that's, like, those are the big characters that we have here, which is, like, meta. Very we're the meta. best time for, like, Kha'Zia up-and-comers, though, because we're rooting for them right now. Like, oh, Skeleton yeah. and uh, Junior. Yeah. Just, making it to I'm, Grand Finals together. Like, Junior. people Junior's like awesome. us shouldn't even exist in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What a cowardly thing to say. <laughs> I, I, I would like to see some of our Kazios pick up the box. I, yeah. I, you know, after saying shout out to Matt. Shout out to Matt. Yeah. We were talking about tag changes today. I told him to call himself uh, Box Trot because he's playing Fox now. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> Box Trot. It would rule. <laughs> and he wouldn't be called Matt like 15.